Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm making beaded daisy earrings that were inspired by some older videos making daisy pendants and rings. I will link up the other tutorials in the description below. You are going to need 22 gauge wire, your hooks, some 6mm, 4mm beads, and your tools. So we're going to start with a 5 inch piece of 22 or 20 gauge wire and put on 6 6 millimeter beads. These are the cat's eye beads. I love these beads. I also love the miracle beads. You can use the miracle beads if you prefer or any round bead works well with this. You can even use faceted beads. So now we're going to wind the wire around the top to secure it. We have it in a circle and then push the wire straight down the center. So now we'll put another six millimeter bead and then take the wire and just bend it to the back. Clip the wire flush and then we're going to get our flat pliers just to rotate the end in so it's not sharp. Now bend the top wire a little bit to the side Get your round pliers, hold your round pliers in place, and then take the end with your hand and wind it around. This is my preferred method, just holding the wire with the tools and then winding it around with your hand. Now hold it in place with the flat pliers and wind the end around one full turn and clip it flush. And then after that, you'll get your flat pliers again to pinch in that little pokey end. Get an earring hook, open it up, and place the daisy on the hook. This could also be a pendant, of course. And then I have these little plastic plugs that I put on the back of the earrings so you don't lose them. And there's your cute little daisy earrings. Now to make the triple flowers, we're taking an 8-inch piece of 22-gauge wire Bend it to the side, put on six 4 millimeter beads, hold each bead and turn the wire around just to make a gradual circle there. You want it nice and even so you just go slowly bead by bead and curve the wire around. Now hold it snugly at the top and wind the wire around one full turn and then straight down the center. So just push it straight down and then we're going to add another four millimeter cat's eye bead. Stick it in the center. Just use a contrasting color. Hold it snugly in place. Slip the end through the middle and give it a good little tug. Wiggle it around a little bit so it's nice and snug and then put the wire straight down. Now give it a little bit of a jog to center it on the bottom bead and then take your round pliers and bend the wire out to the side. Now you put six more four millimeter cat's eye beads, hold them and then wind them around bead by bead, holding the bead and pushing the wire around to make a nice gradual curve. Now bring this wire to the front because you want to turn it around so the wire ends up at the front and bring it straight down. So now we'll put another bead in a contrasting color in the center, push it right in the middle, take the end and wind it through one time into the middle of the flower. Now grab the end with the pliers so you could really tug it, bring it right down, give it a little jog so that's centered and get the round pliers again to bend it to the side. Now you're going to put six more of the cat's eye beads. I'm using three different colors for this earring. You can also do a long strand like this and make a bracelet. There's so many possibilities that you can do with this classic design. I had a friend in the 90s that used to sell rings like this on the street. That was my original inspiration for this design. And now we're going to put one last bead in the middle, center it, and then bend that last wire just straight to the back. And then you will clip the end with your flush cutters 
And then of course get your flat pliers, push in that little pokey end, just rotate it in. Now take the top wire and bend it to the side, curve it around with your round pliers to center that loop. And then you're going to hold it with your flat pliers, bend the wire all the way around, give it a good little tug. And then we're going to clip the end flush with the flush cutters and pinch it in. So now we have our three flowers all stacked up. Take a earring hook. I use the surgical steel earring hooks. Close it up and then just do any adjusting that you need to do and there are your beautiful triple flower earrings. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.